All right, guys. I think this video is going to be about corrosion of magnesium. I uh, just want to show you some things I've got going on. It's just magnesium ribbon and copper will be the two main subjects in the video. Uh, I guess I'll start off with this guy right here. This cell's only about three or four days old. So, yeah. Um, I just want you guys to see this is magnesium ribbon. And down there, you can see that the magnesium is black. All right, there's no white, there's no discoloration of the liquid, uh, but the magnesium is black. And that's what I want you guys to notice, is that the magnesium is black. Now, when magnesium usually corrodes, it's going to corrode into its much simpler form, which is magnesium oxide, and magnesium oxide literally means magnesium and oxygen. And magnesium oxide is white, so I find it interesting that magnesium corrodes black. And the reason why I think it corrodes black is due to, well, corrosion and and the fact that, um, let me see if I, it corrodes black because of the lack of oxygen and corrodes white with the uh, oxygen air. So if, you can see if I remove this thing, it's going to start to become lighter and lighter because it's going to start reacting with the air. You might not be able to see it on camera, but that's black. And you can probably start seeing it. It might be turning white on camera. It's going to be hard for you guys to see, but it starts turning white because it's now reacting with the oxygen in the air. Instead of being nice and safe and suspended in the liquid, it's going to start returning different colors. But I want you guys to see that that's black. There's regular magnesium, and that's black magnesium. So it's corroding black. So you guys are probably thinking, well, that's, that's nothing major. That's nothing spectacular. Well, it's corroding black, but you can notice that it's not flaking off. It's still one whole bit. It's all one big bit piece. And you can still, it's still got its tensile strength, too. You can see. So it doesn't, it doesn't feel really any weaker than what normal magnesium would feel like. So I find that interesting that it's not breaking apart. It's not flaking off. It's not doing any of that. I'm just going to go put it back in there. So you can probably see it's starting to want to turn. So it's a little bit, yeah, it's starting to turn white on me now. So we're going to put it back and spin it back in the fluid and short it out. I'm keeping it short out because I want that um, black layer to build up. But yeah, the liquid is basically uh, clothes detergent. It's the Walmart brand. It's Tropical Breeze Sun. So I don't know if I'm helping you, but I'm pretty sure any clothes detergent will work. Or whatever it will work, but I find it interesting that it's corroding black. Now I want to show you something else. This is over here is the polar opposite, I guess you could say. It does have some black on it, but that water was never blue to start with. That's actually water, just plain old water. And this cell was just put in there. The reason why the water is blue is because the copper is reacting. Um, I just want to show you guys that you can see that white right there that's on the magnesium and right here you, you can see all those white cloudy puffy things that is magnesium oxide that's what magnesium corrodes into magnesium oxide is not very conductive so it's not very useful but you can see this cell used to wrap around but now not anymore because the magnesium oxide is white um, and it's tearing the cell apart What's also interesting is I got tape right there. You can see it's a little bit shiny. And the tape actually protect and kept the cells together, but that's not what this video is about. The video is about you can see how it's flaking off. So when the magnesium turns white, it's becoming magnesium oxide. And it's starting to break apart and decompose and fall apart. See the falling apart of corroding is the biggest problem. See when things corrode they fall apart. But what happens when they corrode and don't fall apart that's that's what's interesting see corrosion as you can see the magnesium oxide layer it's building up white powder and falling down to liquid you can see the liquid has these little white powders that have been turned uh, turquoise because of the copper um, but yeah it, the falling apart part of corroding is the biggest problem because once it starts falling apart you, you don't have connection anymore and it gets weaker and weaker 
Well, but what happens when the the magne with the corrosion doesn't fall apart and it still stays like it is? So yeah, that's just just a video about that. Um, but yeah, I mean this cell was never shorted out. This was just left in the water, closed up to see what would happen. This thing's pretty old too. But well, this is the worst case scenario for uh, magnesium corroding. You can see it's pretty bad. That's that's corrosion right there. And that, that white corrosion is what you want to stay away from. Uh, not necessarily. You, uh, the black corrosion is really, I, I wouldn't say detrimental to the metal. You will have much less power, but it's not falling apart and flaking up and becoming a white powder. That's... That's the biggest difference you see in these two cells I showed you. But yeah, when magnesium corrodes, it becomes magnesium oxide, which becomes a powder. Powder falls off, and the metal is destroyed. And you don't really have power anymore because magnesium oxide doesn't conduct uh, really at, at all. Um, but what happened, really the question is, black magnesium... Or black corroding magnesium, why is it not falling apart and breaking apart? And I'm thinking because it's not reacting with the oxygen, so it's corroding to a different form, which is not a break apart, fall apart form like magnesium oxide. This is some type of magnesium something something, and I, I don't know what it is. It's quite puzzling to me. I'm pretty sure, I'm very sure it's a type of corrosion, but it's not a destruction corrosion if that makes sense so it's very interesting and I will keep looking at the cell measuring it and, and see what happens but I, I thought that black versus white is pretty black and white really it's white corrosion of magnesium it's pretty devastating while black corrosion of magnesium is it's it's, it's devastating but it's not falling apart and I'm still getting power from it but not as much, but I'm still getting power in, and as long as the metals don't fall apart, or the magnesium, the, the magnesium doesn't fall apart, uh, this, is, this is very interesting. I'm at, I'm at a loss, and this is really where my, um, me not knowing is coming into play here, and I, I wasn't expecting it to turn black, and this is what I'm used to seeing here, and I just don't know. This is very interesting. I'm just rumbling on here. I, this, this is this is about it for this video.